New at six, a new front runner in the San Francisco mayor's race, and it seems to signal a dramatic reversal of fortunes. Our film is on how a stunning political setback for London Breed has now morphed into a lead in the polls. Phil? That's right. It's setback or boomerang. You have to recall that it was just a, what, a week ago that London Breed was bounced out as acting mayor, and now she's getting one heck of a bounce in the polls. Let's take a look. In San Francisco, Politics is a contact sport. Hi, everybody. Hello. And for Supervisor London Breed, the hits and the turnovers just keep coming, with the latest being a Chamber of Commerce poll showing the recently deposed acting mayor as the top choice of 33% of the voters in the June mayor's election. It's a two-to-one leap over her two closest rivals, former State Senator Mark Leno and fellow Supervisor Jane Kim, and former Supervisor Angela Alioto as well. And those few weeks as acting mayor certainly made a difference. When people do those polls, it's the name you most recently heard. Therefore, London Breed would be the name you most recently heard. My name is London Breed. I'm the acting mayor for the city and county of San Francisco. And in the weeks following the death of Mayor Ed Lee, the little known Breed was in the news every day. It seems like there's a lot of momentum for my campaign. Uh, people are just calling us, stopping by the office. Indeed, the fear of Breed getting just such an edge with the public was one of the reasons her opponents on the Board of Supervisors voted to remove her as acting mayor and replace her with Mark Farrell, who is not running. The powers of the of the mayor's office are, are extraordinary. Um, now we're going to have a free and fair election. Rival candidate Angela Alioto, who backed Breed's ouster, isn't buying the rocket rise. I mean, for all of a sudden for her to skip almost 20 points, I just simply don't believe it. It is way too early for any poll to mean anything. But Democratic Party Women's Caucus Chair Christine Pelosi said Breed's removal has had a boomerang effect. People are shocked. People are angry, and people are saying, this is politics as usual. Why are you doing this? Thank you. Thank but whatever the reason, Breed will take it. It's very promising, but more importantly, there's, it's a long way to June 5th. It may be a long way to the June, but it's always good to come out of the gate in the lead. Sort of sets the tone. Now, it's going to be an interesting push in the next couple of months between the moderates, led by Breed, and the progressives, which would be Mark Leno and Jane Kim. And the final vote is probably going to be pretty close. In San Francisco City Hall, Phil Matier, KPIX 5. Back to you guys. All right, Phil, thank you.